Michel Rocati llevaba cuatro años sin poder caminar por culpa de un accidente de moto. Todo cambió en diciembre de 2021. El secreto está en este pequeño ordenador que le acompaña siempre y que lanza impulsos eléctricos a su médula espinal. I could implant this electrode array just under the vertebra and upon the spinal cord. And with this technology, we could access a broader region of the spinal cord in order not only to activate the leg muscles, but also the trunk muscles. We stimulate the spinal cord with spatiotemporal stimulation pattern that we produce the way the spinal cord is activated naturally by the brain. And to do so, we have a mini computer that the patient can carry with him and that deliver the stimulation and adjust them, synchronize them with the ongoing movement. This technology is so precise that immediately after the surgery, the patient can walk and stand. But in order to use it outdoor, he needs to train to come with us and it will take some more time. Es una tecnología que comenzó a probarse en 2018 y que ha evolucionado. Ahora, tras activar los implantes, solo se necesita un día para que los pacientes se puedan poner en pie y comenzar con los entrenamientos. Cuanto más intensos sean, mayor será la recuperación de la masa muscular con la que ganar autonomía. At the I was a little bit scared, but uh, when I talked with the Josephine Block and Kevin Hortan, they explained me how is it, easy is it the surgery. I see exactly how is it the movement of the, the implantation. And after this, I, I relax a little bit. You uh, tell your, your mind, okay, now you start with the left side, the right side. Uh, every day I walk around uh, two hours. Now my training is to improve the quality of the step. For the moment, uh, I can walk uh, 1500 meters and I go to, to reach uh, one kilometers for the summer, maybe, yes. Walking is uh, super important, but just stand up. Uh, can solve a lot of uh, kind of, of problem in the normal life. Maybe just to do a simple shower. Sigue siendo un tratamiento experimental. Hasta ahora han sido tratadas así nueve personas. La empresa Onward Medical espera ampliar el ensayo clínico a más pacientes en 2023.